Hello, do you have Parkinson's? Do you have a movement disorder? Do you have tremors? Do you know somebody who has tremors? Do you know somebody already diagnosed with Parkinson's? If yes, then listen into this video because what I'm about to share with you is mind-blowing information and mm -hmm. test results from patients that I have in my practice who I'm able to help get, the, get to the root causes of why these tremor disorders develop. It is not all about raising money for different charities that are never, never going to find a magical drug. There is no magical drug that is going to remove the cause of the disease. There's a gentleman who came into my clinic uh, just this week. We're in uh, July of 2015, and he suffers a terrible, terrible tremor a and a hands and leg foot tremoring walking disorder. He's on his medications, and they are not, uh, they're able to calm down to some degree his condition, but they're not ridding what, what's, what's going on here. His tremors are still happening with all the medications he takes every day. His walking disability, it is, it's just, it's terrible. I did film him watching him walk, and it's, it's, I'll put that up at some time here when we make some improvements. One of the findings with him is in his main part of his body or the brain that controls these movement problems is known as the basal ganglia. The basal ganglia is in charge of these tremors. And inside his basal ganglia, I found dental amalgam. He still has fillings underneath crowns in his mouth. He's got teeth where uh, root canals were removed that had metal in those root canals. And he still has a mercury tattoo, it's called, inside the gums in the upper right side of his jaw. Uh, he's got mercury there. He's got a silver amalgam mixture, and he's got this other dimethyl mercury poison that has gotten from the teeth up inside the basal ganglia. I also found on him with his Parkinson's problem. We did a body scan, an inventory I took of him. And inside his, uh, this is inside the glial cells of the brain that our microglial cells are little inflammatory cells. They can, they can respond to inflammation, in other words. These little cells in the brain can actually cause damage when they become inflamed. In his microglial cells, there's a long list here, so please stay tuned and listen as I'm going to share this. Borrelia Lyme infection, the Borrelia burgdorferi in those glial cells, mycoplasma bacteria, harmful bacteria in the glial cells. He had Bartonella infection in the glial cells, rickettsia in the glial cells, multiple vaccine chemicals affecting the glial cells, lead, arsenic, aluminum, amalgam, antimony in those glial cells, destroying brain function, mold and fungus in the glial cells, destroying brain function, herpes simplex, the Coxsackie virus, and parasitic flukes causing damage with those glial cells. I inspected his frontal lobe of his brain. I'm able to go to another part of the brain individually and check it and see what's in there. In the frontal lobe, antibiotic residues, arsenic, lead, amalgam, root canal stress, infection from the jaw causing uh, these infections from, a, from where a tooth was removed called the cavitation, that same infection in that frontal lobe. I found four kinds of candida infection, candida tropicalis, candida albicans, candida glabrata, and candida crusae, all affecting his infecting and destroying the function of the frontal lobe. The frontal lobe of the human brain helps to control the motor movements of the body. When that brain is toxic and infected, there is no way that somebody is going to be able to have normal body movements. It is not possible. He has multiple parasites up there. He has mycoplasma infection in there. He has the Borrelia burgdorferi infection in the frontal lobe. He also has multiple vaccine chemicals in the frontal lobe. I also looked inside his red blood cells, inside the hemoglobin, mold, multiple foreign chemicals like pesticides, like jet fuel, dental amalgam fillings, uh, uh, mercury residues in there. He's got antibiotic residues inside the hemoglobin. He's got a parasite in there and he's got the Borrelia burgdorferi Lyme infection in the hemoglobin. How is the brain going to function when the red blood cell that supplies oxygen to his brain is infected with toxins and infections? It's delivering infection. It's robbing the brain's ability to get normal oxygen levels. How is that going to be a normal brain function when these toxins and infections are in the red blood cell and in the brain? 
I checked his capillary beds. The capillaries help provide oxygen to all of your tissues from head to toe, all of them. The MMR vaccine, measles, mumps, rubella vaccine, is lining the capillaries. The DPT vaccine lining the capillaries. Amalgam fillings, mycoplasma, Bartonella, Borrelia. These infections are in the blood vessels. He also has three kinds of candida infections lining the capillaries, which can get right into the bloodstream and go right into all the tissues wherever those capillaries are supplying blood and oxygen, which is everywhere. Coxsackie virus, MSG chemical, neurotoxic MSG chemical in his capillary beds, antibiotics in the capillary beds. I found inside his bone marrow, arsenic, lead, one, two, three, four kinds of mercury compounds inside his bone marrow. Let me tell you something, folks. The bone marrow is where your red blood cells and your white blood cells and your platelets are born. Your bone marrow makes your blood. If you never knew that, now you do. Your bone makes your blood. Guess what happens to the bloodstream when it's born in infected and toxic bone marrow? The, born, the blood becomes infected and toxic and it carries those infections and toxins wherever that blood is gonna go, which is everywhere from head to toe. He's got food additives and preservatives, harmful chemicals in his bone marrow. He's got mold, he's got multiple viruses, he's got uh, one, two, three, he's got about five different parasites living in his bone marrow. He's got Ehrlichia bacteria in there and he's also got the Lyme Borrelia burgdorferi infection inside his bone marrow. I also checked this tissue was his, excuse me, his vocal cords. He's got a very difficult time speaking. His tongue seems like it just, he can't get the motor control over his tongue. So it's not only in his hands, his arms, his legs, his feet that are, don't stop moving and he's got a very difficult time with his arms and his legs. His speech is really impaired. He said it got worse when he started taking his his uh, Parkinson's medications. He said his speech started really going downhill. So is it that the, the medications are making the brain more toxic and it's causing his speech to get worse? And or is it because we found on the vocal cords, mercury on the vocal cords from the teeth? I found the Borrelia burgdorferi Lyme infection on his vocal cords. I found parasitic flukes there, fungus, mycoplasma, bacteria, and mold and toxic food additives and preservatives inside his vocal cords. I also did a dental inspection on him. I found infection and mercury underneath three crowns that just look perfect. You would never know unless you knew how to test for this because the teeth look like perfect porcelain, perfect teeth. They're not. They're infected and toxic underneath. I found infection in his gums. I found Lyme infection in a couple of teeth. These infections and toxins in the mouth are bleeding into the brain and the body, making the body sick. He has been, uh, we haven't been able to treat or take care of, excuse me, the, the uh, mercury inside his basal ganglia because he still has to get the teeth handled, which he's ready. He and a close friend of his are ready to help him tackle this dental procedure and then come right back in here and get started with cleaning up the brain tissue and the body tissue. But I was able to supply him with some remedies to start removing infections in a priority fashion inside the basal ganglia. And I'm going to tell you, this list here today, the priorities were mercury again in that basal ganglia. Mercury destroys nerve function. There are videos that you can watch. I'll put these underneath this video as links underneath this on my YouTube channel. He's got a very, very, very high level of Lyme Borrelia burgdorferi infecting his basal ganglia. Let me, let me explain this. Let me make this a bit easier to understand. Hopefully this picture, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint for you this picture that's gonna make it simple to understand. Imagine you have 100,000 mosquitoes on your arm and your neck. Let me ask you, is it gonna hurt? I bet it will. Is it gonna get inflamed? Yes, it will. Is it also gonna probably cause you to have some jerking, like get these bugs off of me and it's gonna be pretty stingy and bad feeling and functioning? Can you just imagine having 100,000 mosquitoes on your neck and your arm that bite you all the time and don't stop. Can you imagine that? I'm gonna be real serious, this is my passion. I'm gonna tell you, he's got a very high level of Lyme infection in that brain. He's got multiple parasitic infections in there. He's got vaccine residues causing stress in the brain. He's got mold and fungus. He's got other heavy metals in the, 
basal ganglia that we can't treat yet. We've got to get the mouth fixed first. He's got fungus. He's got, excuse me, another kind of mercury in there that I found. He's got an infection from a root canal that's still in the mouth going up to the brain. He's got periodontal disease, the infections that I discussed in a few minutes ago here from his dental exam. He's got an infection in his gums that's going up to the brain. Those are the primary stressors getting there, causing his brain not to function okay. Until these are taken out of his brain, effectively without surgery and without medication, until those are gone, this, continue will con this condition will continue with him. My purpose and my goal is to help him get well. His goal is to get well. He can't keep living like this with these tremors and taking the medications. He knows the meds are, are somewhat taking down a notch of his symptoms, but they're not really doing it for him. We have to get these infections and toxins out of his brain and his body and his blood cells and his vocal cords to help him start to function normal again. His body is gonna do the healing. I don't treat Parkinson's. I don't treat these diseases. I look at what's causing the disease I look at how we can effectively, without making a toxic effect on the body with meds, how we can effectively remove these infections and toxins and let the body recover. His body is going to do the healing. I don't do the healing. I'm looking at what's causing it. Let his body do the job on its own. I don't treat that disease. His body is going to treat itself. His body is going to help himself fix itself when we can remove the causes of the disease. Share this video with somebody you know. Subscribe on my Facebook page like my Facebook page, subscribe on my YouTube channel. I put up videos here all the time. Call my office, 954-370-3100, and it is time for you to start getting involved with yourself with somebody who knows what to do, like me, to help you help yourself get well. Look forward to helping you. See you soon.